Luca Famili Fendi grew up around engines and competing is in his DNA. His passion for speed though started with cars, successfully racing for five seasons in the FIA, GT2 and GT3 championships, driving the powerful Porsches and Aston Martins. Looking into new challenges and a particular coincidence led him onto powerboats. Dentro queste barche di classe 1, che sono le barche più performanti These class 1 boats are the best performers in the catamaran category in the world. Abbiamo innanzitutto due scafi, un tunnel. Here we've got two hulls and one tunnel that carry us like an aeroplane. It works like a wing. Abbiamo degli step o anche redan lateralmente per appunto far sì che There are steps or lateral redans that make the air inside the tunnel run across the hulls and keep us suspended. We've got two marvellous Lamborghini 8165 cylinder scams, reduced on purpose here to 865 horsepower each, but that could go up to 1,200 horsepower. The Class 1 championship is tough, hard work, it puts the best crews to the test and, even with the temptation, there is a sample of other delights available. The challenge is complicated and the results don't always reward effort. You know, it's just part of the sport. You need to know how to learn from defeat and keep on preparing for new challenges. It's gone, let's say, pretty easily, yet very well. We didn't even do half the track to warm up and just threw ourselves into it. We more or less repeated the same time during the next trials, so concentrated on making new strategy plans for the next round, and we made the best time together with the victory team, to the exact same second, which, racing in water, I would say is nigh on possible. Credo che noi come team Abbiamo raggiunto un livello di professionalità. I think that as a team we've reached a high level of professionalism, starting from the people that help us out as mechanics, the engineers, the scan. Me and my pilot have, what I like to say, become one. We go into the water and are just as in sync as the best Formula One teams. When I first got to know Luca, I was racing in an Evolution team, and then in 2010, Luca joined us too, so we took turns piloting. There were three of us. And on the first race, I think it was Malta 2010 that we found ourselves in pole position all together inside the Malta Canal. We won and really bonded. Good vibes. They'd been pretty horrible conditions to race in a boat like that. Since then, we've raced in Sardinia, on choppy seas, and liked it a lot. Again at the time, I was racing in Class 1 with an English team, and I asked Luca if he was interested in coming with me on this Class 1 adventure. He was very enthusiastic, because that's just the way he is. With his love of all things fast, it wasn't difficult to convince him. Villas, gardens, dreamlike scenes. Theatre made from new emotional experiences on board a carbon multi hull. Stressor, because every once in a while you need to race in a lake, is one of the places we like a lot in Italy. Not just us Italians, but lots of tourists too, if you look at how crowded it's already been this week. This is a tough category, competitor-wise, all the same weight with the same horsepower, so it's really difficult to be amongst the first. They're agile boats that make you think of old-style sailing, where the excitement comes direct from the ship's wheel. Direttamente proprio allo steering, al volante. 
dà la dimensione esatta de, di quello che troverai poi in classe 1 perché ti insegna effettivamente a guidare e la sintonia tra te It gives you the exact feel of what you find in class 1 because it's effectively teaching you to drive and the sync between you and your throttle man pushes you up to the next class where you're comfortable because you've been practicing you always need to train and be super concentrated in what you're doing every little mistake and you're running a big risk For the second year running, one leg of the Class 1 calendar is at Terracina. A place with a rich history and an energetic crowd. Alive along the shore of the front with cheering on the sail teams, these are Luca's hometown waters and are set to harbour a happy surprise for him. Changing the gears now, we've got 30 minutes of free practice and then we start in pole position, which is crucial to today's race. La visibilità è, è molto scarsa, molto scarsa perché è, per una questione di sicurezza meno la superficie Visibility is reduced from the driver's seat because the windscreen is small, but the surface of the glass protects it from any impact and stops water getting into the capsule if, for example, there's an accident. The best present you could get this year is to win in a race at home, in front of such an incredible audience. The shore was full. Everywhere we went, people were cheering. Abbiamo fatto una partenza incredibile al limite della irresponsabilità. We set off brilliantly, almost irresponsibly. At 250 kilometers an hour and less than one meter away from other boats. And we lasted right to the end. This has been my first class one victory in my life and it happened right here in Terracina.